Wow, Daddy. Look at all these presents. I can see them, Jill. It looks like El Saint nibbed us really well today. I don't even believe in Santa and he came over and brought us all this stuff. I hope I got that new microscope I've always wanted. And I must also say, Dylan is so going to get on this Christmas for being one of the most dangerous troublemakers in the entire city. And look, here he comes right now with his ignorant mother. What up, my family? The best day of the year is finally upon us. It's absolutely great how we're all here as a family. I believe that there is our present for the two of you combined. Well, Dylan, let us open up our present together. <laughs> what the heck? I got coal, a pile of dog crap, and lumpy potatoes for my Christmas present? I need an explanation for this now. I agree with Dylan. Doesn't he deserve at least a few Christmas presents? He's been a really good boy this year. Well Dylan, you got coal, dog crap, and lumpy potatoes for Christmas this year because of all of your trouble making. Your mother is a liar. You have not been a good boy for any of the 358 days leading up to Christmas this year. I'm not going to explain everything you did this year because it will take me about three hours to get through the entire list. So some people you've caused trouble to walk has came together to give you these gifts. Michael and Sessa gave you coal, I, disgustingly, gave you dot crap, and Vance gave you lumpy potatoes. Speaking of which, you are now officially on the permanent naughty list, and you are grounded until Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And while you are grounded, me, your mother, and Jill will be going to a Christmas party at Vance's house, and you'll be staying home and eating lumpy potatoes as your Christmas dinner. Go to your room, right. Freaking. Now. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Worst. Christmas. Ever. Wow. And how many times do I have to tell you this? If you don't stop crying like a freaking fracking motor car, I will use Vion Logic to turn you into one and have you given away as a prize on one of Vance's game shows. Okay, was that necessary? You need to learn how to actually love your child. Well mom, you need to learn how to discipline your child. We love Dylan very much, but we punish and ground him so he can learn a lesson. We would hate to have him not learn, and then something happens to him in the future. He could receive life without parole in the death penalty if he keeps taking this troublemaking path, and we don't want that to happen to him. So that's why me and daddy discipline him. I mean, I kind of understand. I would hate to see Dylan like that in his future, but I don't want to punish and ground my little baby. He's an absolute joy in my life, just like that two of you. Well, you'd realize because of your lack of discipline, some of those presents are for you too. And you know what, you are grounded too. You'll be eating lumpy potatoes for dinner tonight. Just go to your room while Jill and I get ready for the party. Wow. Do you want to become a motor car as well? Then I suggest you stop crying like one. Gee, this family can be so hard to live with sometimes. Well, Merry Christmas all of you viewers. Thank you.